Hi guys, it's Mandy Von Knits. I am known as that on Instagram and YouTube and Ravelry, so you can find me in any one of those places there. If you're interested in knowing what I'm wearing, I will link the video up here so that you can go see the episode where of Diary of a Sweater Knitter where I talk in full length about this pattern and what yarn I used and all of those good things. But today I'm not here to talk to you about my sweater knitting for myself. I am here to talk to you about a specific yarn that I found and I love using. So I thought I would give you some neat examples of different garments that I've used made of it and something that I'm currently crocheting like as we speak. As I film this video, it's a work in progress, so you'll see that in a minute. The yarn that I am talking about is um, Cookie. You can find it on Hobie's website, and I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Every yarn that I show you is bought with like my own money, so I, this is your uh, this is as honest as you're gonna get. I um th this was something that I bought after I saw um it on a Hobie Live event. Now, if you don't know what Hobie is, Hobie.com is a yarn seller. They, they, they have all different types of yarn on their website that they sell. They're based in Denmark. And if you are, in, if you are so inclined, Hobie has a bingo event that they run on their app every Monday. It is very, it is a ton of fun. You're basically just there to listen to them talk about yarn and the app runs through numbers and it automatically selects the numbers that you get and you might win. I join because I like um, listening to the host talk about all the different yarn and I'm lucky that I did because I found this yarn. Okay. So, Hobie had a live event, and I saw the, sh the host talk about this yarn, and they said that it was one of their more popular ones, and I have never heard of it before. It is called Cookie, and it is a worsted, worsted, let's see, a light worsted I would go with, and... It knits up in, or well, this is knit. This is the, um, this is a sweater that I made for my son that I'm going to give to my nephew because I am going to make him, my son, the exact same sweater except I'm going to put short rows in it. This sweater is Flax by Tin Can Knits. Now, if you are not a knitter or you have not heard of Tin Can Knits, they are an amazing pattern designer team that put out a collection called the Simple Collection. The Simple Collection is basically a tutorial on how to make a ton of different things. They have a sock, they have a hat. They're, this is the sweater that they have. They, this is the um, version that I picked was done in worsted. They also have a flax light which is done in um, fingering weight. Tin Can Knits, I just heard, even has an app, right? To where you can go, download the app, pick out the pattern that you want, and tell it the size, and it will give you your numbers. So I don't even have to print out the, the um, pattern anymore and highlight my numbers. The app does it. How cool is that? I love this... Um, pattern and I think that it featured the yarn incredibly well. Um, just the way that it stripes and then I didn't even care if the sleeves were matched. Look. And over here now my son picked out this color of cookie and he um, he was the one who picked out the color and he said that he wanted a sweater in this so that is what he got. Now, whenever I gave these to my kids just to, to feel the yarn and to say, hey, what do you think about this? The face that they, they're like, oh, that's so soft. I made this one for my daughter and this is also out of cookie yarn. 
And this is also a flax. This is probably one of my favorite kids sweaters just because it's so easy to wear. They have different options for the neckline. So you can either cast on with ribbing or you can um, cast on and just go straight into it and pick up for the collar later. It's option one and option two neckline. This was the first, these two sweaters were the first time that I did the option two neckline where you pick up for the ribbing after. And it's supposed to make a sturdier neck. And I definitely think it did because I've done um, the option one neckline before and it kind of turned into a boat neck over time just, just from the weight of the garment and the wear. But about the yarn, this is, so soft and you know what's the best part about this yarn a it's pretty inexpensive I paid okay first of all this sweater right here took one ball of yarn but that's not it this is an 8 to 10 right this was knit an adult small this also took one ball of yarn and one ball of yarn, I believe I paid $11 for. So I just got two sweaters for $22 after I made them. That's great. That is an excellent bargain. That is 100% recommend because I can take this and I'm gonna throw it in the washer and it's not gonna matter. It's not gonna felt, it's not gonna shrink, it's, it's acrylic. My daughter can go in the backyard and dig up worms in this sweater. And it's, although it would make me sad if she stained it, it's acrylic. So, you know, it's washable. And sometimes kids, they just need washable garments. They need stuff they can just play around and roll around in. And I believe that this yarn is a great example of a wonderful acrylic. It's not... It's not plasticky feeling, it's so soft. And if you look very closely, you can kind of see just a little bit of fuzzy halo. Um, the yarn itself is very loosely plied, which I thought was going to bother me, but it, I don't, let me back up. Whenever you loosely ply a yarn, sometimes it can be prone to pilling. And that is not something that you wanna deal with when you pr predominantly make garments. But I've been looking at, this is, this is also made from cookie yarn. This is what I'm crocheting right now. This is what it looks like in the ball. And this is how big it is. See, this is my head for reference. So getting one of these for around $11, especially since it can make a whole kid's garment in knit. I don't know if this is going to make, be able to do it the same in crochet. I've got my fingers crossed. This is going to be a re um, one of those hexagon cardigans for my daughter. Have you seen them? They're like super duper duper popular. Um, I have no idea how they're constructed exactly because I haven't read far um, read that far in the pattern, but I know that it involves making two crochet hexagons um, to a certain size and then sewing them together. So I just thought that this these colors were so cute. I asked her. I said, "Kiddo." I'm not going to use her name. I said, kiddo, do you want another flax sweater or do you want me to try to make this cardigan for you? And she picked a cardigan. So we're just gonna rock it and hopefully it turns out to be a, a beautiful piece that she can wear, especially this year during school. Now, as I was saying about plying, let me see if I can get way up there. I can't really bend very forward or else I will fall. Ah! There we go. You can see how it's loosely plied, but I have not, and I've been very rough on this yarn as I'm dragging it around everywhere and throwing it in my bag. I haven't seen very much pilling from it. So hopefully that will hold out and I will end up with 
three great items from three balls of yarn. On Hobie's website, there's um, the hexagon cardigan pattern that I'm making. That's the specific pattern that I picked um, because they have a bunch of free patterns on their website. So I grabbed that one and it's done in like this really pretty pink and purple yarn. So I'm like, okay, Ellie, I will make you this out of this. And if you wear it, next time I order from Hobie, I'll get the, um, the yarn that is in the pattern. I believe it calls for Horizon, but I don't know. I'm kind of loving cookie yarn right now, aren't you? See the colors? It is absolutely amazing what they can do with yarn nowadays. Um, just absolutely incredible. Well, hang on, let's do this, right? Look, where am I? Where did I start? This is how it frogs. Whee! So it's coming right out. I had, I've had no problems knitting it. I've had no problems with splitting with either knit or crochet. I've had no problems with frogging except for I think once where I was pulling it and the yarn kind of got caught on itself. That happens to every yarn I've ever used. Just like you sometimes you have to yank a little harder, but that's no big deal. There's, I mean, it's not like I'm frogging mohair here. It's really simple to come out. Um, the yarn is lightweight. It is, doesn't feel plasticky and the colors are beautiful. This is pretty close to something that you'd probably get from the store in terms of like weight and feel. Um, someone could give this to me and say, hey, I just got this at ABC store. And I'd be like, oh really, how much was it? Because it just feels, it, it has that feel, it has the look and it has the, like the, the weight. It's not heavy, but it's, it just feels right. It feels like a kid's sweater. I remember um, one year, and this was a long time ago now because I was not in my wheelchair. So this was actually before I had any trouble walking. I went to Old Navy and I bought this, this um, acrylic sweater and it was color black stripes and the stripes were pretty thick. I think I wore it once or twice, but it was very, I did not like the way that it felt and it was super like sweaty and hot and even if my hands were kind of warm and I touched the fabric it would be gross. I've I've never felt anything like that when I've worked with this yarn. So I'm really excited to have found it. It is like I said a light worsted weight so let's see I'm using a five crochet hook. I believe that the ball band called for four and a half to five and a half. And for knitting, I used, a, I actually used the exact same. I used a five millimeter for knitting the body of the flaxes. And then I used a four for knitting the ribbing. Except on my daughter's because I was too lazy to change the needles. Real talk here. So I just kind of wung it. And I don't believe you can really tell a difference. My ribbing's always twisted. I twisted on purpose. So I tried to um, make it look neater that way instead of going down in needles. But I actually did do that with my sons. Just don't tell my daughter because she'll be like eight. You know how eight-year-olds are. Anyways, um, I'm glad I got the chance to share this yarn with you. Like I said, once again, it's Hobie. It's 100% acrylic. It's Hobie. You can get it at Hobie Yarns. Um, it's cookie. Like the food. We like cookies, right? Well, we like this yarn anyways. So, uh, I hope you learned something and I would definitely give it a try and like I said I have nothing to do with Hobie. This is just my own personal experiences with the yarn and the fact that it's machine washable. It feels great. You get a ton of yardage per skein. There's like over 600 yards in here. So like I said it made two knit sweaters and 
hopefully a complete hexagon cardigan, although maybe it'll just be a big hexagon, we'll see. I, I'm pretty, just, just for future reference, I'm pretty sure that it will make the whole thing, but I like to live dangerously, so we'll see how that goes. Anyways, if you liked hearing about my sweater knitting or the crocheting or pretty much yarn, anything that I've talked about, um, please feel free to subscribe or like this video. It would mean a lot to me. Thanks. Bye.